Hi everyone, welcome and welcome back. We are working in our gratitude journal today and I am still looking for more pockets. I seem to be, that just seems to be the order of every day lately. So I thought we could do something different with pockets. Um, yesterday I was sewing and I made a few pockets so I sewed a picture onto some book page and I made a little notch because I wanted to um, turn that into a pocket I did the same with that one well since I can't show you sewing I may as well show you what I sewed so I made some tags. I put a tea bag on this one just to see what would happen. I just sewed it right onto it. I didn't glue that one. Um, I made a journal card base. I sewed it onto that paper I'm always trying to get rid of. So um, I thought we could like do a collage on that for a journal card. Another journal card, another picture. So pretty, I love pictures of plants. You may have noticed already. Another one, another journal card. And that's a larger journal card. I sewed that um, with some lace. Then I sewed some frames out of book page. They're not really sturdy. It was just kind of a idea on the whim. And a couple of more journal cards. And then I decided to add some more paper to one of them. So this could be like a journal card with um, multiple journal spots. So um, another one, that one with grapes. A bookmark. This one is a little thick. It actually broke or bent my needle, so I had to change that. Probably going to get some stronger needles. <laughs> that is a belly band in the making. And another card. So we'll, we'll work with the two that I made, I guess. Obviously, you don't have to sew, and you don't have to use lace, and you don't have to do any of this, obviously. But if you're interested, I was just going to come along. I notched that so that I would remember that I wanted to use it as a pocket. So I will do that. And I didn't want to... I purposely sewed low enough so that I could still use the notch like so these would go very nicely into the uh, gratitude journal then I was thinking you know sometimes you have paper that is not pleasing somehow it just like if you have a misprint of something and I was thinking of this one I'm not sure what the designer was intending for this to be it's a little too big for my little journal I printed it because it had the nice butterflies so I was thinking if I could isolate the butterfly somehow like trim this down it could make a tall tallish pocket but somehow it didn't really work this is from Victoria designs and um, it was a freebie and I really like her work she has some really pretty things somehow my printer doesn't agree with my liking her things so I always have an issue and I print 
until I found a workaround in Photoshop. So what I was thinking for a workaround for this after I trim it, I'll show you what I had in mind. I could make like a edge of a page somewhere. Same with that. All right, so then probably want to ink it and do whatever to the corners first. things are going well for you. Okay, so here's what I was thinking. If we could put that over top with glue and then make a secondary would have to probably overlap so that it doesn't come off. But so I found my purple glue. I thought I had used all my Elmers, but ta-da, here's some. I'd not it's not my favorite, so I'm not buying any more. I will put this on a spare piece of paper though. All right, so you have to move quickly with this purple one because it dries really fast. I figure by the time the purple disappears, it's pretty close to being dry. And then the glue kind of comes up. It permeates the uh, tea bag. So I'm going to do the same thing over here, except I think I'm going to try and tear off the edge. Should have tried that earlier, but it still works. Okay, that's good. And these tea bags are for my raspberry pomegranate tea from Twinings. I save all my bags and recently we started making iced tea with that tea and so I'm able to save a few more tea bags. It's a treat. We're not going to do it all the time but why not? It's, it's yummy <laughs> and I control the sugar that goes in so that's always a benefit. Oh, isn't that interesting? I don't know what happened there, but I think I guess it was the glue that made it really purple. And then when it dried, it was not so. All right, so one more piece. There's a seam there, but that should be okay. Not too fussy about that. But yeah, once it dries, it should be fine. And then I'm going to trim. think. 
There, that seems to actually work better. Just to tear it. Okay, so I know I could have put the tea bag on before I inked it, but then, anyways, it's one of those things you have to decide which way you're going to go, so I wanted the inking underneath, so I got that. And I wanted to ink that, so I had to cut that out first. Same with the edges. I mean, I guess I could have inked it now afterwards, but... Well... Yeah, could have done that. There you go. Learn from my mistakes. I didn't think I would want the... Um, inking so dark so anyways it's it makes it look older I think with the tea bag it, it ages it so I think now that will be a very nice pocket so okay so that's our third pocket I'm gonna put that on top to dry then I had some other ideas well I drew some or colored some, whatever the terminology is that you want to use. I made some with those acrylic markers and I made different colors. And honestly, okay, so I used coffee dyed cardstock. So they're a little curled. Should be all right though. I just have to decide where I want the notches. This one's easy because there's a nice big spot here. I think this one is a little too wide. So I'm going to put the notch over here. cut this down a bit more and this might be a side loading one I wasn't really paying attention to the size I mean I was but I wasn't all right I'm gonna round the Should be alright. No, I don't want that much. Although, if you wanted to make circles, I mean that would be pretty as a as a round label or something. That would have to be another idea. I mean that is another idea, but it would have to be for another time. Okay, so that so you don't have to have digitals for everything. You can totally make your own. Even if I didn't have the acrylic markers, I still like to draw and I could still make pockets and things. Um, and even if you don't sew, you could do like faux or imitation or pretend sewing. Okay, so that one's too wide also. I must have had um, something in mind. Oh, the cool one will go better because I have the cool colors going here. 
if I want it on this page. Wouldn't necessarily have to be on that page. Like if I was doing this page, I would go for here. I might even go, I don't know, but that's also too wide that way, so it would have to be a side pocket. All right, so sometimes deciding is the hardest part. And I may not use all of these in the journal today. But I kind of feel like I want to get on to my next project. So I want to finish up these two journals pretty quick. I mean, nothing wrong with the project. I just feel like the Lord has me wanting to do something else. So. Um, okay, so what I was thinking too, if, if the colors were too much, if you wanted to knock them back a little bit, again with the tea bag idea, and that would age them. I don't know, should I try one? I could try one. See if I like it. Okay, so I'm just gonna get that paper back. How about this time I do it the other way? Glue all over. So good thing I used acrylic because if I had, if I was doing this to watercolor, it might um, bleed. Acrylic should not. It should be a little more forgiving even though it is water-based. We are experimenting. Okay, so I just have to give that a little bit to dry. I'm just going to put it over here for now. Are those all the pockets that I wanted to do today? I guess we'll say yes for a bit for now. Let's see, I got those. There's still a lot of room to do stuff in here, and I think I will. I just, I don't think I want to film at all. I think I'll probably just finish it on my own time and then um, do like a flip through. I'm kind of feeling like my papers aren't really that inspiring, but what can you do? You pick what you pick and then you gotta work with it, right? How about we put that one there? Or should we put it on? Oh, I kinda like it on the music paper. Okay, we'll do that. Of course, you could decorate this further. You could put um, a label on it. Some words are always nice. Could even put that right there where the seam is. I think I'll do that.
got some things laying around. If I wanted to pop, make it pop, I could do that. I thought I made some stickers. I probably did, just not with this. Don't really want to cover up the butterflies. There, that would work. All right, it's going down. Now, if you wanted these flowers to be a little 3D, all you do is not stick the glue on the very edges. So it kind of, I mean, they already look 3D because of the way they're um, made with the doodling around everything and then the white space. I think that's what makes them pop. But if you don't put glue on the very edges, you get the, you get a shadow, which means you, you can see that it, it, you know, it's, um, it's lifted up. It's not so flat. There is room for some gold there. Chrome pens right here. Oops. See, when you knock things over, they fall down sometimes. What? <laughs> I know. <laughs> so this is um, a, one of the chromium pens markers that I bought. It's got the chisel tip, so that'll work. That's a little something. Okay, so that's that pocket. I think that worked really well. Then, let's see, something colorful, something cheerful. Aren't they all? I'm trying to decide if I want on that white paper to show. I think not. I think I just want the ripped edge there. I'm thinking it might look good on the doily, but not on that page. That's what I might do then. Okay, I'm gonna ink it up first. So I was thinking of getting a doily. Where are they? I feel like it's a good thing that I know how to edit videos now because, yeah. Okay. Maybe something like that. I got that bulky pocket there, so I was thinking maybe put this a little lower. Something like that. All right, and then we could still uh, draw something or put something up top there, depending on how large our insert is. So it's summer now and it seems like um, the neighbors and even in our household, people are sleeping longer. So have a little more wiggle room in the summer for videos until my husband takes some time off. And then I thought I almost went too far there. But I didn't. That's good. Just gonna get it straight. So yeah, sewing is 
playing a huge role in my scrapping right now. So, um, yeah, I'm kind of bunching it together a little bit so that I have a little more wiggle room to put something in the pockets there. Um, let's see, I was thinking a bird or something would look good there. And there's actually no butterflies on this page. Hmm. <laughs> I cut out this parrot the other day. He looks just so pretty, but not on that page. Too bad. I'll use you another time. However, I've got some butterflies. I have a whole lot of butterflies. Oh, look at that. This is one that I um, embossed with embossing powder. And I, I think what happened was I stamped them too close together accidentally and decided to make one big thing out of it so I think that will look really good there so I did these on watercolor paper so I had the background just with um, pastels I guess but yeah matches that so why not cool I was not expecting that I forgot I had an assortment that happen to anyone else do you make stuff and then forgot that you made it I think maybe which way I think it'll be over here just like real butterflies they can't decide where to land All right, hey, that just became one of my favorite pages in this journal. Isn't that something? All right, then the one we were letting dry. Let's do that one. It's still kind of wet. It was sticking to my paper. So, I don't know, between tearing it off and cutting. We're getting most of the fluff off. The excess. Okay, so I want that there. Now, see, this would work, actually. This would work. I mean, you could put it anywhere now, but you see how it's not as bright as it was. So I'm just going to trim this a bit more. And then I think I'm going to put the notch over here. That actually would fit that way. Let's hope it's dry enough to notch at this point. All right, that worked. Then the corners might work too. I'm gonna do the really large ones there. Okay, then, oh, what happened there? Kinda took a shortcut. Oh, maybe I just forgot though. I don't know. So then I have to decide where I want it. Hey, how about here? Ink. All right. So 
it's a different look. I mean, you decide what do you like better. I think there's room for both. I think sometimes I might want something bright and then sometimes I want may want something knocked back a bit. All right, so I'm going to put this one here. I've gotten so used to putting my hand on the side I don't want glue on that if I put it somewhere else, I get um, a little bit lost. Like, what do I want to do? I just felt like I wanted something else maybe underneath the pocket. Not lace because I don't have any. Well, I actually do have, but just a strip of that. Or even book page would work. Just something to um, give it an added layer, I guess. Okay, I'm gonna go with this one. So it just takes a little longer to dry on that faux rice paper. And if you haven't seen how I made the faux rice paper, it's using that same tea that I was talking about, the raspberry pomegranate from Twinings. The thing is, I did not make tea with it first. I used it straight out of the bag and um, applied it between layers of napkin. I think that's how that went. I thought, I think I have a video on that. So, um, yeah, that was one of my better, better experiments to date. All right. So we should be able to put some verses in. Let's see, what do we have? So here's a, well actually, <laughs> you can see the difference between, these are the same colors, so. Uh, I'm just gonna trim this little. I think it still adds a little definition when you put things with like a little outline to bring emphasis. That's, that's how I'm going to put it in there too. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving. Let us shout joyfully to him with psalms. Psalm 95 verse 2. Psalm 30, verse 4. Sing praise to the Lord, you his godly ones, and give thanks to his holy name. I'm going to put that in this one. I think it'll work well because it's shorter. So... Oh, I should have probably, yeah, so what's happening there is the, the doily I didn't think of that. Oh well, it still works. It's just the doily is back there. So it may have to kind of find its way down. Okay, well, it's mine and I'm keeping this one, so 
not a huge deal. All right, so we still have some empty pockets and that's good because um, I want this journal to be for things that I'm thankful for myself. So I'm going to be writing out some things uh, and then I'll use the pockets to do that as well, fill those up. So. All right, well, thanks for joining me today and uh, have a great day. God bless and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.